Hey everyone, if you're considering moving to the charming town of Gulf Breeze, Florida, you're in for a treat. As a local real estate agent, today I'm going to guide you through the top five areas to live in Gulf Breeze. So first, I got to admit that when I first moved to the area many, many, many years ago, I didn't realize how big Gulf Breeze, Florida was. Not to say it's a huge, huge city, uh, but just with there it kind of being split into two different sections. I mean, you have like the, the Midway Tiger Point area, which is a little closer to Navarre. And then you're just driving, you just see a bunch of trees, nothing, and you just think you're in the middle of nowhere. And then you hit a whole nother community, which would be Gulf Breeze proper. Um, so just the area being much bigger than I thought, I didn't realize how much there was to explore in that area. And you're heading on out to uh, Pensacola. So you might want to plan accordingly so you have time to stop through Gulf Breeze if you are just driving through. But if you are looking for a home in the area, you have plenty of options. So let's get started. Uh, first, let's talk about Gulf Breeze proper. Um, now, Gulf Breeze proper is a term used locally uh, to referring to the neighborhoods within the incorporated area of Gulf Breeze. It's situated on the Fairpoint Peninsula, and it's also considered a suburb of Pensacola. So it's a part of Pensacola metro area. And here you'll be able to enjoy the heart of Gulf Breeze with the family-friendly atmosphere, uh, close proximity to the schools, and, and lots of places to dine at. And um, there's hiking trails too for you to enjoy a nice little walk or bike ride, a run, or scooter ride. Now the average sales price of a home in the Gulf Breeze proper area based on the last few months is about 1.2 million. Now a lot of these homes were waterfront, which explains the higher price point. However, there are many homes that have sold uh, much less than that, a little bit more affordable, I should say. For a lot of people that aren't looking to the million dollar range, uh, there are homes out there available that's maybe more in the three to 400 range. But again, several of the homes that sold were on the water or close to it. And there is HOA in some areas of Gulf Breeze proper. So just be on the lookout for that um, if you are one of the ones that absolutely refuse to live in an HOA community. And there's a lot of you that don't mind it. So just make sure you, you look into that when you are doing your, your property search. Second amazing community is Tiger Point. Here you'll be able to enjoy a fabulous golf course community offering a mix of beautiful homes and recreational opportunities. The average sales price for a home in the Tiger Point area is 547,000, uh, with the average size being at 2,369 square feet. And many of these are pool homes too, so if you love to have a good old private pool on your property, Tiger Point's a great option. And the HOA fee is less than 200 a year, so that's pretty reasonable. I love where Tiger Point is located because it's close to many of the restaurants and shopping. Uh, there's uh, Publix, there's Walmart, there's Lowe's. You also have easy access to healthcare facilities. And of course, if you're a golfer, you will be living the dream in Tiger Point. Third on the list is Santa Rosa Shores. Here you can nestle into the life of a more coastal lifestyle with waterfront views and easy access to boating and fishing. Now, if you are not considered a boater or a fisher, you move to Gulf Breeze, I would consider picking up that hobby because you're going to be surrounded by the opportunity to go boating and fishing. There's no HOA in this community and the average sales price of a home currently is $399,000 with the average square footage being at uh, $1,802. So it's a pretty nice size home that you get for the money. And the homes in this community were built in the 1980s and up. The fourth community is Whisper Bay. This sounds like it might be a fairly quiet neighborhood. Now this neighborhood is known for its more upscale homes and scenic landscapes with a quiet ambiance. Go figure. There are both older and newer homes here in Whisper Bay with some being waterfront. The average sales price here is $574,000, with the average size being at 2,268 square feet. And partial area is within an HOA. So again, if you, there is a home out there that you're interested in, just look into whether or find out if there is a HOA fee and what it covers and see if you are able to follow the rules. A lot of people out there like to rebel, don't like uh, HOA communities. If they end up in one, then uh, they come across some issues. So just make sure you read through the covenants and restrictions to make sure that you are going to be able to cooperate. Last but not least is Grand Point. Here you'll be able to discover luxury living with upscale properties, gated communities, and stunning bay views. Now a lot of these communities that I previously mentioned also have waterfront views. So if you look on a map, if you're not familiar with Gulf Breeze, you'll see it's pretty much on a peninsula, so you are surrounded by water. Uh, so if you are looking for waterfront homes, Gulf Breeze will definitely have many options for you. But in Grand Point, the average sales price of a home in the recent months is $966,000, with the average size being around 3,500 square feet, so much bigger homes in this area. 
There's also a playground and a picnic area, and the HOA is currently about $275 a year, so that's pretty reasonable as well. Now, there are several other communities within Gulf Breeze that you may also like, but again, I just wanted to bring up the top five uh, that are most well-known in the area. Wonderful place to live, especially if you have children. Uh, all the schools are close together. You have the elementary, middle school, and the high school all neighboring together. Gulf Breeze is also continuing to develop. There's a lot of new uh, homes being built and commercial properties that are being placed in the Gulf Breeze area for people to have access to without having to drive a further distance. And there's also the Gulf Breeze Zoo. So you know your town's made it if it has its own zoo. So make sure you take the time to visit the animal residents of Gulf Breeze. So all in all, Gulf Breeze offers diverse options that cater to various preferences. So whether you're looking for family-friendly environments or waterfront property or upscale living, you'll be able to find the perfect one for you. Living in Gulf Breeze, you, are, you have access to entertainment and fun and, and fabulous dining, great seafood restaurants. Um, you just hop over to Bridge in the Pensacola and you'll be able to enjoy some nightlife downtown. There's the Pensacola Bay Center where you'll be able to in, enjoy a lot of events that are scheduled there. If you enjoy watching baseball games or hockey, then you'll be able to enjoy that in Pensacola as well. Or if you just like to hang out at the beach, you definitely won't have a problem getting there. So you have Pensacola Beach or you can go to Navarre Beach and enjoy some fun in the sun. Lots of water activities to enjoy too outside of just laying on the beach. Uh, there's opportunities to rent jet skis and pontoons and go on fishing charters, uh, dolphin cruises, you name it. They have it out for you to enjoy out in the water. So if you want to know more about the Gulf Breeze area, feel free to reach out to us. If you need assistance finding the right home for you, we are dedicated to helping all of the buyers out there find what they're looking for or investors find their little money makers out in this area. So we'd love to help you make that process as smooth as possible. So just give us a phone call, text or email so we can get you started. Please make sure you subscribe to our channel for more insightful videos on Florida real estate. So just hit that subscribe button and tap on that bell so you are notified every time we do a new video. I'm Stephanie Bueno with the Whittemore Group at LPT Realty. Hope to see you guys in the Gulf Breeze area soon. Take care. Are you looking to purchase a home in the Destin area wondering what it's going to cost to live here? Well, in this video, we're going to cover the five main points that you need to know about purchasing in the area. What are we going to be covering? We're going to be covering factors affecting uh, home prices, the average home prices in Destin, the popular neighborhood.